although there's been a lot of buzz about you recently, but you've been performing for quite a long time, haven't you? Yeah, for, uh, I think I count up about 17 years or something. Oh, really? Since the day, yeah. <laughs> and is it right that your husband, Daryl, is the guitarist in your band? Yes, he is. Um, we met, I was doing a gig over here. Um, I was living in Ireland, did, was doing a gig in Camden, and through mutual friends asked us to do it, and he... Um, he was playing guitar, so we met and chatted up, and I went back to Ireland, and he chased me, oh, followed brilliant. me over, brought me back. As men should do. As they should do, yeah. And um, but but we weren't in a band together until the last uh, year, couple of years now. We we were always in separate bands. It must be cool that you can travel together now. You always yeah, spend right. more time together. Do you write music together as well, or do you pretty much concentrate on your own stuff? Um, no, we both write, but separately. And uh, I think we probably will. We probably will write together um, in the near future because we've been talking about that actually last night. So you must be. You're a witch. Hot off the press. <laughs> and you played Glastonbury recently. What, what was that experience like? It's great. It's great fun, yeah. yeah. Did you stick around for the whole weekend? Um, no, definitely not. It was a little bit mucky, so... Um, well, it was very mucky, which I don't mind, but we were gigging the day before and the day after, and then we were going to hang around and see a few things that evening, but then we got asked to do the BBC Two thing with Joe Wiley and Zane Lowe, an oh, acoustic yeah, yeah, session. So I had to keep it together and be ready to perform yeah. very shortly after. So. And not only have you shared the stage with some of the biggest artists like Elton John, Jules Holland, Scissor Sisters, Supremes, etc. But is it right that you're, you're a singer for the Candy Box Burlesque Club in Birmingham as well? Yeah, I still do that. There's another one coming up in December in the Glee Club. Uh, probably about, yeah, five, six years I've done that and the Flash Monkey in the Café de Paris. So they were the two main burlesque ones I did because both of them had live live bands. So and that is that all covers? Or do you get to do some of your own stuff? No, I do some of my own, and, and, but a lot of covers because it depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm, I'm asked to sing while somebody's performing, so they'll have a particular song that they do a performance too. And then other times I have a feature where I'll do a song and then that's it. So it's great fun, everything from sword swallowers, fire eaters, contortionists, get a bit ta uh, tassel twirling. Yeah, really, I suppose you don't get that on your average sort of musician's tour. Kind of no, no, but it's, it's good fun, life. yeah. It's good, they're, they're very professional, they're, they're very, very good. You get uh, one girl mixed a martini with her cleavage, which was quite good. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> and I've, I've heard you talk about the closeness you, you have with your family. Um, is it right your mum, I've heard you say that your mum takes a, a radio to bed and sings along to the radio. Yeah. Is that right? And, yeah, and that's what you did as a child. A radio's right, uh, right beside, right beside the bed, and and uh, she listens to it for about two hours every night. Really? She what goes, kind of stuff? She into? everything, everything. She loves it, and uh, she, sorry if if you see me moving about, it's because my dog is down oh. here. Have you got him yet? <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. That's Alfie. With the wristband. Alfie Elvis. He was born on Elvis's birthday, you know. Oh, was he really? Yeah, he's the one with lipstick all over his head because I kiss him a lot. <laughs> and he's a wristband. He's VIP. Look, rock dog. <laughs> See the closest with your family. <laughs> yeah. Continues with your pet. Yeah, he's just been in in the what you call that prefab thing while we've been on stage. So he's a bit clingy now. Who about. looks after him then while you're on stage? Uh, well, Emily keeps an eye on him, and a lot of the other bands just keep an eye on him while we're in there. But he's he's okay. He just rolls and sleeps. But my mum, yeah, she lies in bed for about two hours listening to to the radio and uh, all kinds of stuff. And she rings me up and sometimes says, I really like. Uh, that song because you I like the space in that song and she she's really into her music and does she sing is she a good singer does she she's a, she very, a musician she's not a musician she's a very good singer she was a dressmaker and they all used to sing while they were making their clothes and she's a very good singer but she'd never admit it uh, she gets a bit shy and we all have to drag a song out of her you know and what have you got what are the plans for the rest of your summer are you, are you releasing any more singles or are you playing any more festivals um, no, not. Uh, might be releasing another single. We'll be doing more festivals. There's me husband and the dog. <laughs> he's legged it. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone off. Um, I won't be doing. I've just finished recording the next album. Um, yeah, very fast. Um, just mixed it and all the rest. But then I'm going to redo some of it because I want to want to get it right and redo. So that will be for early next year. Brilliant. So okay, I'm well. Working on that already. I'm busy here. Yeah, very busy. That was super quick, getting that done. Yeah, a little bit too quick, actually, I think, because we'd only have, like, two weeks off in between a tour, and I'd say, right, see us all in the studio tomorrow at yeah. 11 o'clock, and we'd be in there for two weeks, and then 
See you tomorrow on the tour. So I think we could do it a little bit of a rest. And stuff on the yeah, a bit of rest and then, then get back to it Brilliant. again. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks so for talking to us today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your festival. Yeah, I'm really loving it. I love the fun Love of Criminals. I can't yeah. wait to see Madness. Yeah, they're, they're rocking the festivals this summer. Yeah. Uh, they'll be amazing. Oh, they're a great band. The only thing complaint about them that I have is I've heard they haven't had a Brit Award, and I think that's absolutely mental. They need well, one. You've heard it here. Melda May thinks that Madness deserve a Brit Award. Too right, yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Melda. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> So it's been a seriously long path for you, forming in 92 and becoming platinum selling artists uh, by the mid 90s. How easy has it been staying together that long? Not hard. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been pretty easy, you know, it's a pretty good job to be honest. Um, I can't think of any real downsides to it, so um, we just keep it going as long as possible. Yeah. I mean, we're all like good friends from school and, uh, you know, we started out that way. And, you know, we went to four piece, we're back to the three piece again, but, you know, it's like, well, we'd be crazy to... to yeah. Try and do anything else, I think. Yeah. So you're friends from primary school or secondary um, school? Well, no, like uh, I've known. <laughs> Real old buddies. No, I've, I've known Rick since I was four, fourteen or fifteen. 14, but 15, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark, I've been friends with since I was eleven. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been like old school. Yeah, real kids, you know. And at these kind of festivals, do you still play kind of your big hits from the nineties? Yeah, yeah. We, we play a big mix of kind of everything, really. You know. Yeah. 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 It's not very like we play for forty-five minutes, and when you got like. Five albums and loads of singles. It's, I know, it's yeah, not you have really to, you long. Just have to pick the you know yeah. the real highlights. So it's, it's actually really good. Yeah, we did a couple of new songs as well, but the rest of it's just a hit after hit. Yeah, yeah. that's it's what's going to get everyone going. There's yeah. a major buzz about you today. I'm sure that that's what they're going to what going to want to hear. Yeah. And is it right that since you you released your last album, um, Twilight of the Innocence, in 2007, you've you've decided not to release another solid album? Yeah, we're, we're just doing we're singles. Albums. Yeah, we're, we've got an amazing plan of doing 26 singles in a year. So that's one song every every two weeks. In fact, it might possibly be two songs because we might have a, a B-side for every single. So potentially it could be 52 tracks coming out over the next year. So has anyone ever done that before? No. I can't think of that ever <laughs> happening before. I think the most that was ever done was um, the wedding presents who did one a month. Um, but we decided, well, let's double that. And they were like, no, let's do 26 because it's going to be called the title the A to Z collection. So, so how yeah. long is it taking to write all those tracks? It's about a year and a half. We've got 44 songs so far. And we're, yeah, but the nice thing is we can still like keep recording while it's happening, you know. Yeah, and, and that's it's all moving at the same time. That's the whole point, you know, because we wanted to be, you know, we'd done five albums and we felt like we needed to be like liberated from that. You know, it's kind of confining. So yeah. this way we can make it up as we go along. So why is it being called the A to Z? 26 uh, fortnights in a year, so A to Z, you know, it's just, it's just, it's a way of tying the artwork together and, yeah. you know, tying the concept together. Gosh, that must be, is it, is it Bedlam? Is it Bedlam yeah. for your, your, Creatively. your people, I suppose? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it throw, throws all the rules out of the window, but it's, you know, it's been really liberating creatively, you know, it's like, yeah. you don't have to, like, have everything, like, fitting together as songs, you just, like, take things in all different directions, so I think it's going to be a pretty eclectic bunch, but yeah. it, it's, it's also a bit, like, a bit more pressure as well, which I think we're kind of good with, because, um, you know, every track's going to be a single. It's not like an album where, you know, the music industry kind of just focuses on the singles anyway. So like the album tracks don't get really much scrutiny, apart from one review. But this, every track has to stand up. So it's yeah, yeah it's a challenge. Are you sticking around to see the Pogues or uh, um, Madness later? Yeah, I'd love to. I saw Madness in 1993, I think. Right, and yeah, uh, I've seen the Pogues quite a few times. I love them. So. Yeah, I expect yeah. they're going to be pretty huge. They've been playing yeah. loads of festivals, yeah. both of them, and doing really well. Yeah, yeah they're both of them. Uh, running the Fun Loving Criminals as well. They're uh, good friends. I haven't seen them in a few years, but they're always up for a bit of a party. So yeah, yeah. we'll get Absolutely. some get some calamuchos done our next. Yeah. What's that? It's a really cheap, nasty red wine mixed with uh, Coke. Yeah, Coca Cola. Funny, Coca -Cola, yeah. they drink it in um, northern Spain. Mm. I think it's uh, really? yeah. <laughs> Why is that nice? The cheap, nasty wine. But apparently, it has to be made with cheap, nasty wine, or else it just doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good with good wine, apparently. Right. Fair enough. For the full effect, it's going to be yeah. rank wine. Yeah. Excellent. Well, cool. Thanks for talking to us today. Hope yeah. your set goes down well. Obviously, massive buzz about you today. I'm sure Thanks it's going to be fantastic. Have fun. Yeah, okay. cheers. Thank you. Thank Hope it keeps raining as well. Everyone will be in the tent. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah.